Betty Bouncer is kind to her people and a nice girl, more or less. But at present, no joke, she's causing her folks no end of deep distress. For she is quite mad about a man she's never met. And it's all through an innocent crystal set. Little Miss Bouncer loves an announcer down at the BBC. She doesn't know his name, but how she rejoices when she hears that voice of voices. Absolutely tireless, sitting at the wireless. Poor little Miss B. It's the man who announces with such a lot of passion in it. The Daventry shipping forecast will follow in a minute. Little, little Miss Bouncer loves an announcer down at the BBC. She almost passes right away the silly little clown whenever he announces that the station's closing down. You'd think from her behavior when he mentions oscillation that there wasn't any difference between that and osculation. His voice must be peculiar. For the other afternoon, he spoke of Mr. Jetson, and she fell into a swoon. Another night she wept aloud and tore her flaxen tresses, because he hadn't mentioned her among the SOSs. When she came to, this sentimental kid couldn't stand it any longer, and what do you think she did? Little Miss Bouncer wrote to the announcer down at the BBC. The answer she received is worth reciting by return of post in plain handwriting. All addressed and dated, this is what it stated. Dear little Miss B. Here's a picture of my babies, and the eldest is the laddie, who you may like to know is the image of his daddy. To dear Miss Bouncer from the wife of the announcer, down at the BBC.